this is Abigail from the future that is currently editing this video coming to you just to give you a little bit of clarification about the next clip I know we're only 30 seconds into this video about so far but as I was editing I noticed that it goes from 30 seconds in to me jumping in to say hi I'm anxious and I'm just very anxious and just me being in kind of a somber down mood and just to give clarification, I explained it's work-related anxiety. I've been off work for the summer. I'm a school nurse. And it just hit me like a ton of bricks that morning that I was going to have to start work soon. This was filmed mid-August. And I went back. Sorry, it was filmed the beginning of August or mid-August, whatever. And I went back to work probably about a week or two after I filmed this video. And it just hit me like a ton of bricks that I was actually about to go back to work soon. And have to be away from Mia for so long during the day and I just immediately felt anxious about the transition of going back to work so yeah mainly just feeling anxious about that and just wanted to give clarification because I didn't even say hi or hello in this video it was just straight into hi my name's Abigail and I'm anxious it was just no introduction so yeah I have experienced work-related anxiety for so long and it kind of creeps up on you. You think that you're okay? And I think that's the problem. I've spent years constantly stuffing down what I feel and just putting my nose to the grindstone and doing what I feel like I'm supposed to do as opposed to really tapping into what God is telling me to do. I was listening to Stephanie E.K. Okafor. She talks about how, um, she's. I think she's from Nigeria. She Forgive me if it's not Nigeria, but I know she's from Africa. She's always had like really good encounters and she's been close to the Lord. But when she came to the United States, she started doing real estate and she felt, started to feel further away from the Lord when she was doing the real estate. And so she asked God like what to do and listen to her story if you want to know all the details. But the short snippet is that she asked the Lord like, what she needs to do and God told her she needs to go to LA or something and then she didn't know what she was doing until she got there and then when she got there God told her to find this church that she had been to before and then she went there and then as soon as she walked in the building that was when God told her like just be a volunteer at this church for, for one year and you're not going to make any money you're going to live off your savings and then she ended up becoming the pastor of that church a year later all that to say I feel like for me it's kind of the same thing I have just been doing what I need to do, what I'm expected to do, to just to make money. And I finally realized, like, that's not making me happy. And I just, I don't know what my full story will be one day of where I will be, but I will say this. Before I actually started reading the Bible, I didn't know where I was going, what I was doing, and I was getting into all these worldly distractions of like angel numbers and psychics and mediums and thinking that all of them can tell me what God wants to tell me when only God knows that, which it says it in the Bible. I was reading and my favorite Bible verse for a long time was Jeremiah 29 11 for I know the plans I have for you, plans to give you, prosper you, to give you a hope and a future, all that stuff. So. I never read anything before or after that, but then one day I was praying for my friend and I was like looking at different verses and I read, because I've never fully read the book of Jeremiah before. I'm almost there, but I'm not there yet. And before that verse, for I know the plans I have for you, it talks about how don't, it's like Jeremiah 29, 8. It talks about don't listen to those false prophets. Like whatever they tell you in my name, it's not true. And when I was going to a psychic, what did they tell me? You'll be going back to school. And where did I end up? Working in a school. And they're doing what? Encouraging me to actually go back to school for another degree. And so it didn't even occur to me until about a month ago when I saw that verse. It's strange that like they predicted that I would be back in a school. And at the time, I was just beginning my travel nurse career. And I didn't know, like I had no prospects of school nursing. Like I never thought that that was anything I would ever do. So they predict that and then here I am and that's not what God really wanted me to do I'm going to put the verse up but the fact that it specifically says what they tell you is false in my name or something along those lines I was like well that'll do it that lets me know I have been distracted and following the wrong things for so long and I thought that that was what was meant for me and it's really not what was meant for me so yeah I'm just trying to be grateful and have peace where I'm at because I know that God 
he hasn't released me from where I'm at now. I know that this is where he's using what the enemy was trying to do for harm for good. And that's just it. So, and I can see why, like I wanted to quit this job a year ago when I had to go back to work and leave my child. I was ready to go then, but I knew that that wasn't what God wanted for me. And now looking back a year later, I can see the beauty and why he, kept me at that job and I wasn't ready to quit yet like the, I would have been sad depressed and broke like I, it wouldn't have been a great moment for me I wasn't I didn't have the right mindset to become the person he wanted me to be at that time I would have just like jumped into something and not known what to do with it and it would have made my life a lot more difficult and then he gave me the blessing of being able to take a later maternity leave right before summer break so like it was it all worked out great anyway so I'm just trying to remain in peace right now and to feel his presence because I was so sad when I went back to work a year ago I was so sad and I was sad a couple of days ago too I just felt it all coming on and I just want to stay ahead of it because God is not a God of fear or anxiety but peace and he's working on me, he's changing me, and I want to be the person he wants me to be. I just want y'all to know, in case you were wondering, I was sitting at a stoplight just then talking, and I saw the light turn green. I took my foot off the brake, waiting for the person, one person in front of me to go. And in the time I'm taking my foot off the brake here in the Chicago, Illinois, what happens? I hear like someone honk. And I don't know if it was the person behind me or the next lane over, but I'm just like, what are we doing? Like, why are we like this? This is why if you didn't learn how to drive in Chicago and then you come drive in Chicago, I'm so sorry that you you have to go through what you're gonna have to go through because I remember when I went to college and I went to Peoria, Illinois, and everybody was, you know, in their own lane and taking their time and not speeding. Oh, sorry, you can't even see me. The sun is just rising in the east. But anyways, I remember like going to college and then coming home and struggling to readjust to driving back in Chicago because I hadn't been driving that long by the time I went to college anyway. So it was strange. Like it is truly a war out here. Chirac driving in these streets, walking in these streets, driving in these streets, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, I'm getting a lot of produce and preparing to go back to work. Like I just want to be able to go to work. I don't want to have to worry about groceries. I don't want to have to worry about what I'm going to cook. I just want this week to be planned out. I don't want to have to stop at the store on the way home because I know myself and I'm already super sad to be away from her and then I don't want to be stuck in rush hour traffic trying to like stop at the store and pick up something like I just want to go to work and come home spend time with my child and then also I'm trying to do YouTube as well plus any time to film edit post and today is a bit of a a bit of a mom guilt day just because I'm really the only one that takes her out of the house like when my husband gets home from work he works night shift he chills with her at home like he doesn't take her out anywhere and he will take her like I know there's a they, we have a play place around us and I was he can take her there but for the most part I'm the only one that really packs my child up and gets her out the house because then after mid morning my mother-in-law will come over and watch her until I come home from work and she she's at Mia is at this stage right now where it's a lot to pack her up and take her out the house and depending on her naps and whatnot and carrying her 25 20 to 25 pound butt down the stairs and loading her in the car it's, it's, you know, a decent amount of work. And so I'm the only one that really like actively takes her out of the house a lot right now. So I know once I go back to work, that also is like a mom guilt thing. If I know she won't get out as much as I would prefer her to get out, which is still a blessing because at least I don't have to pay for childcare. I don't have to take her to a daycare and constantly worry and stress about what they're, they are or are not doing with her or to her. So yeah, I wanted to get her out the house as much as possible these next few days. And so yeah, we're gonna head into Trader Joe's and work on our grocery list. <laughs>
avocado. Avocado? much much later um it's 11 25 a.m could you not tell by uh, the bright sunny sky anyways i really almost didn't want to blame it on having a child that my day doesn't go as planned i'm like why does my plans constantly change during my day which i'm gonna miss this so much when i go back to work i'm truly gonna miss just having the freedom to do what you need to do throughout the day you know what it is i'm being so dramatic because if you look at my previous video it was the one where i, I when i found out i was pregnant but then there was another video i just put up the one where I, I i think i was cleaning up the house and i said it was the mental health struggles during pregnancy that one it's because i think becoming a mom i really was put in a corner to just finally admit i want to be a homemaker like that's okay but also that's what I was saying earlier. God told me, girl, you really don't want to be a homemaker. You think you do, but you don't. In the sense of like, just like you don't have any other income or you don't have anything other, like you don't have any other jobs, which I wish I could just be a homemaker and I, that was my desire, but that's just not, I don't think that's God's personal plan for me. But I still either way want to be the primary caregiver for my kids. Sorry if you hear the loud air conditioner. There's always a white butterfly around here. Anyways, we got home from Trader Joe's. Mia ate breakfast and I did not film it and I would have, but I was so hungry, she was so hungry and I was gonna go grab the camera in the middle of feeding her, but I was overly excited because I bought blackberries from Trader Joe's and I put, when she, when she gets actually really, really hungry, whatever I put in her tray, she gonna eat it. Like she'll pick it up and be like, all right. So she picked up the blackberry and ate it and she didn't think it was nasty and I was just thoroughly shocked. And so I just kept giving it to her because then like she's still kind of figuring out whether she likes this weird looking thing or not. So that whole outfit she had on got covered in blackberries. Thankfully I have uh, this spray, the Miss Messy Mouse spray and that got all the stains out. I just put the clothes in the dryer actually. I just took it off of her, immediately washed it and when I put it in the dryer I saw the stains were already out so that's good. But I was overly excited. And then my mother-in-law came over while I was feeding her. So she took over and Mia is taking a nap now. And I was originally planning to edit today because as you have already seen, I uploaded a new refrigerator content. Our refrigerator went out. So check out that video because I'm sure that'll go up before this one. I was gonna start editing that video today. And I was gonna place a grocery order pickup through Walmart today. But my list kept growing and growing and growing as I was placing the order, as I was adding stuff to the cart. And I just never was ready to push order on the Walmart order. So then at this point, I might as well just go get the groceries myself because I want to shop for the groceries while I edited. But at this point in the day, I might as well just go ahead and get them groceries myself. I have a bag in my car. I need to donate some things to Goodwill. It's been sitting in my backseat for weeks and it's getting on my nerve taking up space making my back seat look dirty and messy and then I don't even know why it was something else that I was gonna do when I went north I don't remember why I guess I was gonna go to Costco because I know I need more paper towels and I wanted to stock up on drinks and then I could get gas from Costco I think I'll save the Walmart groceries for last because that's back in the opposite direction but I swear so my mind was telling me it was something else I had to do that's near the good that I could
stop at the Goodwill. Had to get in and out of there quick because I, when you park in the front, you're not. This is the West Loop of Chicago, and y'all know ain't no parking here. So they make sure people don't just stop to park. But anyways, I actually before I went there, I've been meaning to double check if I have gap insurance or not and I got it through the place where I got my auto loan through and I never double checked and they never sent me information about it but I know they asked me when I signed up for the loan hey would you also like gap insurance and I said yeah and never heard about it wouldn't know what to do if I needed it I just went to double check as it turns out I do have it and as a matter of fact I also have an extended warranty and I didn't even know that and I almost was gonna sign up for that so make sure you know what you have because you be signing up for stuff and you don't even know what you signed up for. And praise God because I was going to sign up for it through my car insurance. But now I don't need to. So that's good to know. But right now I am on my way to Costco. I think I can't remember if there was something else I was thinking I wanted to do here in this side of town. So I'm just going to go to Costco and then go to Walmart before I head home. got this much stuff like don't don't ask me how my part just don't mind your business I might be putting my business out here for you but mind your business let's see how long it takes me to check out From this morning to now, we have a different hairstyle going on, different outfit because we got blackberries all over it. I think the only thing that's the same is the shoes. Where are you going, miss? You like your new puzzle? What is that, circle? No, rectangle. Everything be a circle. Okay, I wonder where that'll go, yep. Mm -hmm. I wonder where that will end up. Oh, almost back in the right spot. Right here, there you go. Oh, are we gonna pick it up? have dinner but we spotted the bottle instead so we'll start off with this as our first course show the final product of my smoked pork chops. Smoked? This is not smoked, smothered. There's only two left, but it doesn't look, I don't know, on camera, I don't know if it looks that great, but they taste delicious. Okay. 
So, today was a very unorthodox, don't even know what these clips are gonna look like kind of a video. Today was my, I guess you can call it back to school preparation vlog. And praise God, I feel like doing everything I needed to get done, I can ease back into the week ease back into going to work i feel like every time i vlog it's always days where it's such a long day it feels like i always say it's been three days in one day yeah i think my next video will probably be me actually going back to work i'm gonna try to vlog that and see how that goes so yeah if you have watched my video you've liked a video you subscribe to my channel i genuinely appreciate you from the bottom of my heart you don't know what you're gonna get when you subscribe to somebody that has hardly any subscribers so if you are one of those people that subscribe when i have nothing right now i just really appreciate you that you would do that and i will pray for you while you pray for me and i just want to say the lord is my shepherd i pray that he is able to be your shepherd as well that you were able to feel his presence hear from him feel his peace just lay whatever is bothering you at the feet of christ and come to him if you are weary and i pray that he's able to give you rest so yes thank you so much for watching i appreciate you so much and i will see you in the next video bye